Hi there, I'm Nicholas Casamia, and I'm here with Kevin Heggie, who is the director of a new documentary called... She Said Boom, the story of Fifth Column. <laughs> so Fifth Column are a group of um, uh, artists um, who started a female-led post-punk band in the early 80s in Toronto. So um, post-punk being sort of after traditional sort of you know, three chord, sex pistols type rock. Um, that whole scene sort of dissipated and sort of art students took over what it meant to be in a punk band. So punk more spoke to like reimagining what bands could sound like and what you could do within that. So Fifth Column were Toronto's kind of um, answer to that. They were uh, a group of women who weren't uh, group of women who were forming a band that was different than what was going on already in Toronto. That meant like making films and zines and um, taking pictures and just making all sorts of art um, and music. Why do you think it's important to document this part of music and and art history, queer history. Yeah, it's queer history, and it's also um, this idea that was bothering me that like a lot of uh, stories involving women, where women actually are making much more interesting, avant-garde, and challenging work, um, and I find those histories sometimes don't get as much attention as others, and so um, and also just the fact that. Something that became sort of mainstream, like the Riot Girl movement and that sort of political and musical movement, to discover that it kind of originated in Toronto, um, I thought was special. And just like, why don't we know about the richness of our subculture? Were the fifth column all queer women? They used the word queer, which um, was kind of part of the JD's project. Um, where at the time, you know, the word queer had pretty harsh connotations. Queer tour started, as I like to say, in my apartment on Queen Street, at Queen of Parliament, in my living room, where everyone would come and hang out. So I made this little cassette tape up and then started mailing it out to my friends and I just called it um, the homo car tape. So I just made up this word, I thought it was funny, this hardcore homo car, so I made that word up. They purposely started using that term to sort of reclaim it um, and that really, I don't think that made them any friends, you know, in the mainstream gay community. And they weren't trying to make friends. You look at the way we use the word queer now, and you can, like, really directly um, route the way that we use that term these days, I think, to the work that um, G.B. Jones did with Bruce LaBruce through zines like JD's. And then later that developing, of course, into all the other subcultures that came out of it. Why do you think a woman didn't make this film? Why didn't a woman make this film? I hope that a woman does make another Fifth Column film. I was a little worried, you know, it, it's, it was what the reactions of like, why is like a, a white, gay, middle-class male making, why is it his voice that's creating mm -hmm. this history? But on the other hand, it's like, well, no one else is making it. And um, I think that the, the history is important on so many levels that there's room for more movies. I think you made a kick-ass film uh, that happens to be a documentary. Thanks. And it has a great, great energy. And thank you. Thank you. <laughs>